Good morning, Efficiency fans, and welcome back to Munich, Germany. My name is Savannah Peterson, joined by my co-host Rob Streche for what is turning out to be an incredibly efficient series of interviews. Yes, it, it very. Is, like <laughs> the process is well oiled here. It's we, almost we, like they're really good yes. at optimizing processes. <laughs> yes, it is. This, is. this is probably our most efficient morning ever on the yes. Cube. Here to talk more about that is our new friend, Rafa. Rafa, thank you so much for taking the time today. Most welcome. Thank you for inviting me here. It's a pleasure to be with you. Yes, it's a joy. It was also a pleasure to look at your website. It is covered in gorgeous products and things. Just in case the audience isn't familiar with Cosentino, tell us what you do. Okay, Cosentino is a, a family-owned international company. We build a very sustainable, uh, fashion-oriented, artificial stone. We have real stone, but we provide uh, construction materials, uh, but, but based on design. We want to do something special for everyone's life. So we address, I mean, construction materials, surfaces that are used to, to make your kitchen, your bathrooms, your house, your flooring uh, beautiful and, and perfect. Yeah. And, and you're all over the world. Yeah. and you're based out of Spain, but you have a lot that comes out of the US. So you have a lot of logistics and other things that has to really be optimized for. Kind of give us an idea, because again, as the person who people probably come to and say, hey, we want to automate this, you know, how do we do that? That has to be a big job. Yeah, the, the organization is, uh, I mean, uh, fabrication is massive in the south of Spain, in Almeria, in Cantoria. And, but we, we send whatever we fabricate, we send it all over the world. We are in more than 80 countries. And although the wow. US is, is massive for us, it's very important, we, we send it to, to the rest of the world. So logistics is, is really, really important for us and it's really complicated. So sales, logistics, productions are really, really uh, very difficult and complicated. So that's why we need assistance to support our, our operations and the people managing these businesses. And How long have you been using Salonis and when did you know it was time to invest in a technology like this? Well, we started with Salonis. We did a pilot like probably two years ago. Uh, we've been one full year uh, using it. And during this time, we realized that uh, it's, it's key for us. So uh, it's a key component on, on our strategy to understand our processes, managing the processes, and we are using it in a special way because what we, we think is, is key to understand how things are going, going on. So and, and once we have that, we said, okay, we can go farther and farther. So that's why we are trying to use it also to improve the processes through, not only through agents, but AI agents are important on, on that part. Yeah, I, I think that to me was one of the big pieces was the fact that you had moved so quickly and embraced AI agents. Kind of help us understand you know, what was the use case that you went down the agent route, the AI agent route? Well, that was a discussion with Carsten Thomas, the president of, of uh, Thelonis, from the very beginning, and with uh, 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 the CEOs, in terms of explaining them that my vision was to use uh, the process language to automate. I mean, automation is possible, AI agents are possible, but they need to have the right information. I, I firmly believe that how LLMs are evolving, are capable to do anything, but you need to give them the context. You need to explain them what to do. It's, it's like a human. We're treating AI agents like humans, and you need to tell them what, what are the processes they need to do, and, and what is the environment. That, that, is, that comes only from Celonis. We didn't have anyone that, pro, that could provide us what these agents require. And then it was a question of building them. So we choose one, one that was important, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. And we said, okay, in our processes, one that if we, it, make, it makes sense and, and works, it can help us a lot. So that's why we decided for this uh, initial autonomous AI agent for uh, credit, because that is a key part of our processes. And, and it was a test. Is uh, okay, we were fully sure that it would work, and it worked better than we thought, and we, we can discuss more about that. But that was the idea. It's, it's, this is like a, the tip of the iceberg to build uh, something way bigger. And you were able to get to this proof of concept MVP agent in just seven weeks? Yeah, yeah, that was the one, one of the, we are not thinking on, on saving time or making things easier. Our goal was to make something, to make a, an agent that could take care of a process uh, on behalf as, as good or even better than humans. But uh, when we went to our internal users and told them, hey, we need you to explain us what you do. Uh, they, they, we went to the operations guys because this bot is taking care of two things, the operations role and the finance, credit finance role. 
So we went to them and said, hey, we need you to tell us what you do. I said, oh, no, no, we don't have time. We are so busy because usually it takes from then two weeks or three weeks to give us the information. I said, no, 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 Th this is going to be just one meeting. So they give us the information, we start building the thing, and it was so fast that uh, everyone was surprised. And the CFO came to us and said, wow, my team is surprised that it took them so little to give you the information you need to build this. So it's not only the seven weeks, it's what we require from the internal users, the, the people that understand the business, was so little. And then when they saw it the first time working, they were so surprised, they said, wow, this is way better than we expected. So it's not only the time, is how much time we require from the rest of the organization, which is also amazing. Well, and you're able to, to process this credit and figure this out five times faster, is what my notes say. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really more than that. That is very conservative, because it's not only, as I said, getting the requirements to build something, the functional requirements of any application would have taken way, way longer. Building it in a, different, in a normal, traditional way, it would be way, way longer and it wouldn't, be, uh, it wouldn't have worked that good because this is really replacing or uh, um, uh, helping to do things that even humans couldn't do before. And I, I think one of the things being that it's around credit blocks and things of that, which is critical to your yep. customers and your partners. Why was this the, the place that you started and how has it been received? Yeah, I mean, we are really concerned about uh, service level. Taking care of your customers is really, really important. It has also an impact on your revenue because the thing is, in our, in our model, we our customers ask us for the material. They are building a beautiful building or their own house or whatever, and they they, they require from us that we meet the, the deadlines because there's a lot of uh, dependencies there. So if there's something happening that delays that or, or can impact that, it has a big, big impact on their business, on our business too. So one of the things that can get blocked is because of the credit. If someone is asking for more material that they request or they have the credit uh, uh, agreed, this, this can delay or stop the whole process. And the way we were doing it, it was, there was someone, an operator, looking at the dashboard. Uh, when something go, goes red, they go and check and then go to finance and say, hey, finance, help me with this, solve it, address it, etc. The whole thing was delaying around one month the, the time. It, it would represent around between 22 to 30 days delay on what the customer was expecting to have. So it was not only important in terms of the revenue for us, but also the customer experience and the service level. And this is now getting everything solved immediately. You don't reach that situation now. It's, it's amazing. It's, it, it's incredibly impressive and it's inspiring to hear. We've talked a bit about how this has impacted your customers and the teams you work with on the credit side. What about internally? How much training was required for your team and what did that process look like? Well, that was, as I said before, that was really one of the most amazing things because initially, to train something like this, uh, I mean, this is performing as an employee that has a lot of experience, years of experience. And, and we, could, we could take that experience li literally in a couple of sessions of one hour. So in a couple of hours, Whoa. we were capable to get that information. Years in an hour? Yeah. And then, of course, that is not, I don't, I don't want to oversimplify it, but it's really amazing. Yeah. Then the, the owners of the process were taking care that the training is done right, and they were supervising everything. So it's not only fast, it's also very safe, because you can control, you have the owner saying, okay, this is doing the right thing and he's taking the right decisions, and he's doing what we expected. So it's, it, it was really impressive. It's really amazing, yeah. Where, where do you see this going beyond the credit management aspect of it? Where, where into the future do you see this potentially applying? That's why we said this is the tip of the iceberg. I mean, we want to apply this to all our processes as much as we can. In our processes, uh, we have very complex processes. We, we've been a company that has been working I mean, in the market for more than 30 years. And as you can imagine, uh, when you have so, so big and so complicated organizations, in our process there are many uh, manual tasks. There are, there are things that are done manually or require a human to check. And we are humans and we make mistakes and we are not 24 by 7 available. And there's things that are impossible for a human to take care of. So with Thelonis, we identify all those opportunities. And our, our goal is to look for those opportunities 
and start building a, a digital workforce uh, to, to, to fill those gaps that humans cannot, cannot fill. And the other problem is, as a company, we are growing really, really fast. Uh, thanks God, we, we, are, we are having a lot of success and growing. It's difficult for us to find the right resources to do this. We cannot find enough resources. So uh, resources became, became a, a bottleneck. Uh, we, we expect a massive growth. We are not going to be able to grow that fast with humans on, on the whole thing. So we need these agents to help us uh, supporting the business. And that's why we have Thelonis giving us the right environment, giving us the information, giving us the training and the platform so we can build them and start playing the role that we need in the organization. What an exciting place to be in. You're scaling that fast. How big is your team right now? We are around 250 resources. Nice, and how many, let's say a couple years from now, how big do you hope to be and how many agents do you think you'll need to support that? Uh, well, the thing is, the organization is around 6,000 uh, employees. And, oh, and wow. we, we expect that we will, uh, we expect not to grow too much on, on humans, so we can grow at a different pace on the revenue side, on the, on the business side, in terms of the number of resources we need for that. That is going to help us on uh, our, our profit. And in terms of team, I mean, this is helping us also internally. The, the idea is not only for operational areas, also for IT, we're trying to use this to uh, be more efficient. I mean, I'm not meaning reduce the need of resources, but being able to do more with the same resources you have. So that is yeah. really that is really the, the target. It, it seems like it's, it, you're, it's very important, and I, I think this is fantastic because I think that human in the loop human part of it and making people more efficient. Was that really a, a theme that was pushed in by, by the company? And hey, we're, we're, we have to meet this growth targets, but we have these people, we want to make them more efficient. Absolutely, yeah, because now uh, you have very, very valuable resources that are doing really uh, mundane and repetitive tasks. And, and they're wasting most of their time doing things where they don't bring that much value. And, and the business requires them to take other decisions and to do things at a different level. So bringing this, this is like bringing new guys in the organization to take care of certain things that uh, the older guys cannot take care of or shouldn't be taken care of. So that is the whole idea behind this, and it, we, we are completely sure it will help us to, to grow and to grow faster, provide better services to our customers, and, and do things in a better way. So it's going to increase your retention because your employees are happy because they're using their brains on purposeful work and, and nothing repetitive. It's going to make your customers happy because you're able to get them answers and products faster and more efficiently. It's going to increase your profits because you're doing both of these things, which is very exciting as a business owner. Now, I'm curious as someone now obsessed with getting your surfaces in my home, is this <laughs> going to drive down the cost a little bit for that end consumer while still increasing the impact on your ROI and your margin? Absolutely. Uh, it will help us to be competitive and to, to provide better services to you. To I mean, we are using this to improve the way we design uh, our solutions and the way we take it to make it more efficient. As, as I said, the company is, is really uh, uh, sustainable, we, we, are, we are really, really uh, taking care of sustainability. So making these things efficient, it will also help us to, to meet those things. You, you don't waste, I mean, you, you take things, you do things right at the first time, we'll take you to your house, uh, your, to your home, our products in a better, faster way, so it will impact definitely on and, and your cost, our profit, and the service we're providing to you. Absolutely. I, I love so. that, so everybody wins. <laughs> yeah, it's a win-win-win. So you've seen an incredible amount of success and impact very quickly in just the last two years, but like you said, specifically this last year of implementation. When we have your wonderful personality and design eye on the show this time next year, what do you hope to be able to say then that you can't yet say today? I mean, we expect, that's what we're discussing with uh, Felonis at the, at the top, top, we have their top commitment. They have been working with us and we're working with an amazing team. They have an amazing team. We have a very, very good team. And we're working together to, to impress you next year with something new. So <laughs> we want to take this further. We will, we will talk next year, we hope so. And, and it will be way, 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 way better. Yeah. 
I love to hear that. Well, I'm already impressed this year, so I can only imagine how impressed we'll be yeah, next year. Rafa, thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with it's us. It's been a this pleasure. Been fun. Thank you so much. It's been really fun. cool and nice. Yeah. I'm going to be thinking about <laughs> interior design and my surfaces, even the surface of our news desk yeah, this here be, now. This should be Silas Donodecton, for sure. I, I, I agree. Yeah. We're, we're going to have to, that's, y'all heard it first here. For, the, for, the, for the next set, we're going to be showing you off, and I, and I love to hear that. Rob, thank you so much for yep. all your insightful questions, as yep. always. And thank all of you for tuning in to our fantastic two days of coverage from Salonis Celosphere here in Bavaria. My name's Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.